Hey everyone, Spicy Toes Gaming here. The new event is out, and today we're going to break down the event pass so you can know what rewards are in there for you. So if we take a look at the event pass, first you're going to note that there is 30 free Mordekaiser, so he's going to be the free champion this time, and then Elder Dragon, that's the other one that's going to be for 30. Now there's some very important things in this event pass. We'll be breaking down totals uh, at the end, but the important thing is, one, there's a lot of stuff in here for Path of Champions, Two, there is Stardust in here, and actually quite a lot of Stardust. So not only will you potentially be getting Stardust from all of the duplicates you might get, but you will be getting a lot just raw Stardust from the event pass, so that is awesome. One bad thing is there is no Morgana in the event pass. Now, there are some quests over here. There are some quests with the event. So down here, different ones to get some more tokens for the event, a couple other ones to give you a couple more fragments. So there'll be some Morgana ones you can get. Well, this is actually just her icon, but up here you can see there are some limited Morgana fragments you will be able to get from uh, the quests, but in the event there are no Morgana fragments, and I think that's a first. Normally they at least have a couple fragments for all three champions, with two of the champions taking up most of the space, but through the event there is no Morgana at all. However, a lot of Wild Fragments, a lot of Stardust, just a lot of things for Path of Champions in general. Alright, so I took all the totals of everything, hope my math isn't wrong anywhere, but I'll try to throw up on screen now what the totals are for all of the different Path of Champions related features in the Event Pass. So up first we have Mordekaiser Fragments, and there are about 50 total, or there are 50 total Mordekaiser Fragments throughout the entire event, so good amount right there. There are 60... Elder Dragon Fragments, so again, good amount right there. There are two Bronze Reliquaries, so those are going to have a common Bronze Relic in there, with a chance to high roll into a Rare Relic. Now there's also 1,400 Stardust, so quite a lot of Stardust, halfway essentially to be able to get a Epic Relic, and with the duplicates you'll probably get if you've played the game for a while, you'll probably get close to a entire Epic Relic just from this event pass. Alright, now we also have 40 Wild Fragments, so a good amount of Wild Fragments right there. Four Silver Reliquaries, so these all will have a Rare Relic in them, with the potential to high roll and get a Rare Relic and a Common Relic, I believe is how that can work. There's one Silver Vault, so this has... 20 champion fragments in there. This is not duplicate protection. However, there is also this one gold vault that will have around 30 to 40 champion fragments in there, and this one is duplicate protection. So these fragments will be for one of the champions you already have, so that is very nice. So quite a lot of stuff for Path of Champions in here. This seems to be more than no normal. It is sad that we're not getting fragments for all three of the champions in this event pass. That being said, though, there's a ton of Stardust in here. Honestly surprised at how much Stardust there actually is. That is just a general breakdown on all the stuff in the event. One thing to note, you might want to hold off just at least for... <laughs> a few days potentially before you get the event. Last time the event had some issues where for a small amount of people, myself included, we were unable to earn progress in the event. So the event has a repeatable quest. Let's see where it is. So right here, it's the victorious quest, win match made or AI games. So as long as you keep winning games, you're able to keep grinding through the event pass essentially. And this is the one way that you can continually progress the event if you've completed all the other quests. Well, for me and many other people, this disappeared. It was a different amount for everyone. For me, the second day of the event, this disappeared, and it wasn't added back for me until less than a week remaining for the event. There were some issues in the last event pass. You might want to hold off and just make sure there aren't any issues this event before immediately jumping in. That being said, I'm not really going to tell you what necessarily to do with your money and whether you should or shouldn't get this. I just wanted to give you that warning of what happened in the past. For me, I will be getting this as I definitely think it is worth it. All right, that's it for this video. I'll be pumping out a bunch of other videos for all of the new content, including all the champions. So definitely stay tuned so you see all that. I hope you all have a great day and I hope you all enjoy this expansion.